All right, it is mailbag time, and I'm here for mailbag, but I've got to go for just one second. I kind of go blow my nose, and then I think we'll be ready. So uh, give me just one second. I'll be right back. Okay, actually, these guys just ate the littlest um, Wellington and Squall just ate. Um, Squall's actually still eating. I got to go get her from the food, and the, she, they eat in the closet so that uh, nobody gets in their food. And they're both going to want to poop after that. In fact, Wellington's running straight to the litter box here. Good boy. So I'm probably going to have to clean them up too. Uh, I've been doing that all morning. Hang on one sec. Let me go see if Squall's done. Okay, uh, well, uh, good that Squall and Wellington both accounted for, and I guess uh, hopefully they'll hang out in here and use the litter box in here and I can keep an eye on them while we do mailbag. Uh, I think I've got everything I need, and there may be other kittens that show up as we're going. I should have something a little softer to sit on, though. What do we got here? Oh, oh not that. Okay. Wow. This is very soft. Okay, uh, well, let's get rolling. We'll just jump right into it. Um, hi, everybody. Okay, we're doing our mailbag today from the annex, just for fun. I thought all the kittens are up here. These are really upstairs cats. Um, both of the, the, I guess both of the new classes, or the one new class, if you consider them combined. Uh, they don't get downstairs too often on their own yet. Uh, they've, they've looked at it a couple times. I think a couple of them have been all the way down the stairs, but... Uh, they're just not that into it. They just, they're upstairs cats. So sometimes they like that. Um, and uh, let's see, the uh, the only big news is this week is uh, Thursday is our big day. On Thursday, everything happens. In fact, uh, our two mom cats, uh, that's um, uh, Puddles and Serenity, both are going to the vet on Thursday for their space. Also, uh, these guys, I think, are going to the vet for their very first checkup, and then, um, uh, and then it's also the adoption of uh, uh, Ramekin and Goblet on Thursday. So all that happens on Thursday. It's going to be a very busy day for me. Um, I'm expecting um, Goblet and Ramekin's adoption to be around 10 a.m., I believe. So that will be that. And then we've got uh, like a month to go until the next adoption of uh, Spatula and her mom. Um, and then uh, and then Teaspoon eventually, someday. So that's the way that's going to go. Um, no other news as such. These guys are both still mostly living in the master bedroom, for better and for worse. Uh, they've both got real bad diarrhea still all the time. And uh, um, it's been a real issue because... Um, they, they're not the best at the litter box use either, and sometimes it's not their fault. You know, they just they just are going to explode. Uh, they can't keep it in, and they don't make it in time. 
and then sometimes they go to the litter box just fine, and when they come out, it's a mess because they bring some with them on accident. They haven't quite figured out how to avoid that. Um, and sometimes it's a mess because, like I said, they just don't get to the litter box in the first place and decide to go in the corner. Uh, and to that point, though, uh, someone sent us puppy pads a long time ago, uh, like a, I think a couple boxes of them, I hope, uh, and we've never really used them. They were sent for us to use for mom cats to put in their boxes, uh, and uh, we never really got around to it because even though it does generate like a, a couple loads of laundry when they give their birth, it's not that bad, and uh, you know, it's, it's, we've just never gotten them set up in time to try it. Uh, but those puppy pads are coming in super, super useful right now. Uh, I've, I've never used them before, and I've been putting them down in the corners of the room where these guys are most likely to make their messes. And uh, some kittens are, are choosing to go there. Some of the, the medium kids are. I don't know who. I haven't caught them at it yet. Um, but, uh, but when these guys go there and do it, the puppy pads are working great. Uh, they're just wonderful, and I'm amazed at how absorbent they are and how much they just they prevent anything from reaching the floor. I would have thought that if a cat peed on something like that, it would still leak over the edges and end up on the floor, and it does not. Uh, they're just they're ultra absorbent. I don't know how it works, but uh, they're like they're like diapers for your floor. Um, it's it's really good. So. So the puppy pads are finally coming in super, super useful, uh, but that's not preventing us from doing tons of laundry and uh, having poop exploded every hour, which is why mailbag wasn't yesterday. I was up at uh, like 4 a.m. Um, because these guys uh, had their poops. Um, we had to change the bedding and do everything, and I wanted to go back to sleep, but by the time I got all that done, I just couldn't. Uh, and we had a similar thing happen this morning. Uh, DJ had to change the sheets when she got up at about 5.30, and then uh, I ended up getting up and just stayed up from then, too. But I guess my sleep schedule's adjusting. <laughs> so, And I couldn't put off mailbag another time, uh, although if I am a little tired and, and rambly, I hope you can excuse me. Also, I should check to make sure that the cameras are working and that I'm talking to somebody and that you guys can hear me. Sounds like you can, so that's good. All right, um, so that's everything. I don't think there's any other news to be had. Um, no, I don't think so. I think, I think that's all the news. So, uh, so from there, we should just get started now. We do have one uh, letter. One, car It's a postcard. It says uh, Paris, and it's got all the Paris uh, tourist spots here. And we've got the Eiffel Tower front and center, of course. And then on the uh, back, it says, Time to go home out of money. Out of clean clothes, out of energy, miss my cats, Piff and Taylor. Well, Piff, I'm glad you got to see the world. That must have been so much fun. Uh, Paris is one of those places that I just, you know, it's like a, it almost seems like a um, typical place to go, but that doesn't stop it from being a place I would love to see someday. It's just, you know, it's, it's legendary, uh, obviously. So... That's had to be a lot of fun, and I can completely understand. It when I, I've never really traveled in my life, uh, except for the few times that I've gone to visit DJ's family, and we usually go for about two weeks at a time, and by the end of the two weeks, I am, I'm just done. It's so exhausting. Uh, it's great fun, and her family's wonderful, but it is just travel is so exhausting. Oh, my goodness. Uh, all right, so that was it. That was our one letter. Uh, I don't know if you saw this, by the way. I hope you can see it. Um, these are, this is some great decorations on this box. Look at this wonderful painting of a ship that says endowments in the flag. says Kitten Academy. And then on this side, we have just cat things with a cat. It's wonderful. This side got a little beat up in shipping. You can see it's been taped shut, um, but it looks like cats on the beach playing. There's a beach volleyball set up, and you can see little kittens playing. There's a volleyball flying over the net. Great detail. And here's a bunch of cats building sand castles, and one sitting on a, a um, like a lawn chair thing. Uh, you know what I mean. A beach chair, I guess it would be. What is that box-shaped thing, though? Uh... It must be the cooler. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's the cooler, and that's the handle, and they've got a little drink set up on the table. So much, I, I love the detail. It's the wonderful little details. On this side, there's no such thing as just a cat. Uh, yeah, just a cat. Yeah, I say the word just a lot of times, and I, I always regret it, um, because it always sounds like it's diminishing whatever I'm talking about. Uh, but I think it's just a figure of speech. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> just a maybe maybe just a tick uh, like a verbal tick even. Uh, anyway, this is a wonderful box. I wasn't going to start with it, but since we just looked at all of it, and of course you guys know who this is from. Uh, this is Joy F, 
And let's see what we have on the inside then. Well, first off, we have a knife guard. Wonderful. And we have the note. Also wonderful. And the note says, dear, oh, no, it says, hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope all is well. My cat bosses wanted to send you and DJ some coffee and tea as a small thank you for all you do for students at the academy. I think Bayou snoofed the bags of coffee a bit too much as he is playing uh, guard cat and must protect the shipping box. But then again, he goes bananas out uh, over the banana phone, so it may have nothing to do with coffee. The gift bags are for the May babies and Serenity. I included adhesive magnets in the bag in case the aduders want to place them on the fridge. There are a few other things for the May babies to deploy as well as other toys to deploy for everyone. Thanks again for all you do. Kitten hugs, joy, and my cat bosses. That is so sweet. Uh, one, and that sounds like a great box full of stuff. I can't wait to see everything that you talked about. Oh my goodness, I did not expect the coffee to be... Oh, this is the tea. Uh, this is a collection, a wellness tea collection. And we have, uh, we've got it's a cut, three different kinds, four, five, six, seven types of green tea. I did not know there were types of green tea. I thought green tea was just green tea. Uh, but no, these are all uh, elevated green tea, pomegranate green tea, uh, acai berry. Is that how you say that? I think so. Green tea. Uh, we have a blueberry green tea, jasmine green tea, Moroccan mint and a super fruit and then we've got two herbal teas uh that's awesome you know i may have mentioned that dj only drinks green tea that is her beverage of choice um i don't know uh, i mean she'll uh, i'll certainly hand this over to her and uh, i may be the one that ends up drinking it though because she's she's real particular i know i've mentioned before uh she's got one exact type of green tea that she likes and it's her thing just kind of like i do you know diet coke all the time Speaking of which, I had one. Uh, well, I say Diet Coke. It's Coke Zero, uh, but whatever. Um, uh, more like my dad was a Lipton tea drinker, and uh, he'd just drink that Lipton instant iced tea all day long. That was his one beverage, and that's just all he would ever drink. And if you tried to give him like a really nice brewed iced tea that you know you put all the effort into, he'd, he'd reject it. He'd just be like, no, I want this. Oh, and you know, the other thing, uh, he'd always flavor his Lipton iced tea with real lemon. Are you familiar with that product? It's called real lemon. Uh, and it's a it's an artificial lemon flavor, which is it's funny they call it real lemon, but you know whatever. Uh, yeah, and so that was that was his thing. It, it was uh, Lipton instant iced tea with real lemon in it. Uh, oh. Well, you know, there's just no accounting for taste. So my point was that DJ's got one particular, I think it's the Bigelow brand uh, green tea, and just the regular one. Like they have a couple things. I don't know. Um, so she may or may not get into this, but whether or not she does, uh, I probably will. I'm interested to try that. I want to see what flavored green teas are like anyway. Um, I was going to say something else about that, but you know, whatever. Uh, this is so cute. I see what you mean now about the fridge magnets, because what you have sent here are a bag for each kitten, and then you've got a little wooden butterfly on each one with their name and some painted flowers. It's beautiful. I just, I can't believe this. You probably did all this by hand, too. Uh, it's so cool. Wow, the little flowers are super shiny. They look like they may be an applique um, or a, a, a something. Whoop! Oh, okay, we've got some fighting going on back there. That's fine. Uh, really pretty. These are all uh, tied so nicely, but I want to see what's in one of them at least for somebody. So let's take a look here. We've got squalls. We have, oh, the magnet backing for the butterfly, like you said. That's a great idea. It's just a adhesive magnet like you said perfect we have the uh, sisal rope covered um, uh, silver vine with the silver vine nugget these things are a big hit around here we got fun tubes we got oh a long a rainbow long-tailed mouse i don't think i've seen that before a fur ball uh, this weird material ball uh, i don't know what to call it a big fuzzy mouse a chirping mouse that hasn't had the tag pulled yet, thank goodness. We got the catnip banana, like you said. Wow, these are some packed full bags. Uh, all the stuff is in here, too. We got the, the ball made out of the, the weird stuff. They like these quite a bit. Uh, we got a fruit mouse. We have the atomic uh, thing. <laughs> we have a pea pod. All right, that's cute. 
we have a little green rattle mouse. We have two tubes of the delectables. And of course, we have a broccoli. Oh, one more uh, fun tube was in there. And then the, the broccoli, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a broccoli with silver vine, which is also, well, it's mostly the silver vine part that they go for. But the fact that it's broccoli with a face is also pretty cute. These, these are wonderful. This bag is packed full of so much stuff. My goodness, you put a lot of work in, into this, and especially the little butterfly, though, is beautiful. And so there's one of these that appears. I see Squall and Welling. Other ones, too. Let's take a look here. Hang on. I hear someone making little fighting noises, but I think they're just playing. So they don't sound too serious about it. I know you want that right now. Yeah, that's got to be Raindrop. Raindrop has this habit of, uh, you've seen other cats do this, of starting a fight, and then uh, the minute that it doesn't go her way, she starts making all this noise about it, but she's still just playing. She's just a very noisy when she comes to playing. I think the others do it a little bit too, but Raindrop's the one I keep seeing do that over and over, especially Raindrop is a huge fan of our next door neighbor here, Serenity, and always wants to go over there and play with her, but then Serenity will kind of hold her down and uh, then she gets all noisy about it. That may be what's going on over there. Of course, you guys can see what's going on over there. I can't. Oh, I kind of can. Somebody just went in the unicorn. I guess I can see a little bit through the door. Uh, this is amazing, especially the little wooden butterfly. It's beautiful. Uh, that's one for Squall. We have another one here for Wellingtons. And then uh, there's another bag here. Serenity. Oh, of course. Wow, what a beautiful tag. This one is, uh, not only does it say Serenity and it has little flowers and a butterfly on it, but it's also got a piece of lace and a little handmade uh, flower. And the flower is set in a little tiny gold like uh, like setting, like a jewel would be. It's, uh, it's so pretty. It's a, it's a real, see the little leaves on this flower? And it's got a little gold uh, set there. And it says Serenity. And the Serenity is also written out of little wooden blocks. That's just, that's amazing. Wow. Uh, Serenity's adopters going to love that so much. I love Serenity so much. And Serenity might be officially the smartest cat that we've had because she has let herself out of her room twice in the last uh, six hours, um, something like that. Since uh, four, She did it the first time around 4, 4.30 this morning before any of us were up. And then DJ got up and Serenity was out running around. She's like, oh, well, you know, Mr. A must have just left Serenity out overnight. And when I got up, I saw Serenity was out. And I'm like, wow, man, did I accidentally leave Serenity out all night? Uh, nope. Uh, I didn't. I got her put away just right, and then she let herself out, and then I put her away at breakfast, and again, she let herself out right after breakfast. It's I've, I, Nobody's ever done that. Uh, she's the first to successfully open the doors. Many have tried. Uh, nobody's actually managed it. So here we have a bag of toys that says deploy. These must be the ones that are for Wellingtons and for um, Squall. They're going to love it. They do need their own little fun tubes. I'm just going to leave one of these out right now because I saw somebody wanted one. The others I'm going to put back and then I'll bring them to the bedroom. We've got some nice little, uh, uh, most of the same stuff in here. Look, even a pea pod. Um, and it kind of looks like the same set, more or less. A real nice fur ball in there, too. I know Raindrop is a huge fan of those. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, that's got to be Raindrop. That's another thing Raindrop likes to yell about. If she gets one of those fur balls, she'll carry it around with her all day and growl at anybody that comes near her while she's got it. And even if nobody comes near her, sometimes she just growls uh, running around with it. It's ridiculous. She's so ridiculous. So here you have a uh, Yao Catnip Banana. Uh, no, this is a pineapple. That's what that is. It's a Yao Catnip Pineapple. It says uh, Future Mom Cat. Perfect. And then you've got two Catnip Bananas that say Deploy for people to use right now. That's wonderful. We have May Babies Deploy. And it is a... Uh, oh, it's an elephant. Uh, it's like an elephant ring. Um, here, we might as well open it up so we can see what it looks like. It's hard to see in this package. And then uh, we can give it to them. I don't know whether they put their toys in here. I plan on moving them in here soon. Um, but I've just I've been trying to keep an eye on them so often with their bad poops that just moving them in here, I don't know. They may be just about ready for it. They've been keeping up just fine. So that's really cute. It's got a rattle, and uh, it's very soft, and it's probably for a human baby, but I think the little kittens are going to love it just fine. I'll leave it out, and we'll see what to do with it. You've also sent animals for everybody. Aren't they cute? Squall gets this, uh, like, calico rabbit. It's very pretty. 
Wow, uh, Wellingtons gets this. Uh, is it a horse? It is. A, it's a horse. Uh, no, it's not. It's not a horse. Is it? Uh, it's got these little uh, markings on it, like a uh, like a giraffe, except it's a horse, isn't it? I think it is. That's weird. It's a giraffe horse. A giraffe. Okay, um, or something. Uh, oh, and Serenity has a uh, little doggy with pink uh, uh, calico kind of markings, I guess. I don't know what you would call that. Uh, so cute. Wow, those are cute. Those are, uh, I think, a little cuter than the usual ones that you send. Uh, we've got a pizza party. Uh, it's got pizza, chicken, a uh, pilsner, a perfect pilsner, and potato chips. Potato chips is pretty good. Uh, we've got, ooh, a new pop-up tent for them that's purple with uh, little birds on it. I like that. That's got a great pattern to it. That's going to be a fun one. You know what? They need another pop-up tent. Maybe I can get rid of that red one that's starting to get pretty threadbare. And it does say, me babies deploy. And I think they can all share. We might as well open this right now. Their old blue pop-up tent has been in the wash uh, for quite a while. I say in the wash. It's been set aside to wash for a while. But the last time I put it out, it immediately got peed in again. So uh, maybe this one won't get peed in right away. Or maybe it will. I don't know. I guess we'll find out together. Oh, there we go. Now, I don't want to scare anybody when this thing pops up. I'll try to limit it. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this pattern. This is going to look great. Uh, oh, it's nice, too. It's brand new. <laughs> uh, that's a good thing. All right. I recognize these as the giant springs. This is one for Squall and one for Wellington. I just uh, put the ones that you sent previously in the endowments for uh, the older kids. They're going to love that. These guys, of course, just got introduced to the spring for the very first time yesterday. I put it in their room, and they are very interested in it, but they hardly get a chance because these older kids want to play with it, and they just knock it over immediately, which is why they haven't had it. Um, but yeah, oh, that's uh, great fun. Here we have our own broccoli. Oh man, Maggie would love this, I bet, because it's got these little, uh, she loves these. Maggie, do you want to see? You want to see the silver wine? Come here, check that out, Maggie. Just have a look. Let's see if she'll take it away with her right now or if she has to get it later. She loves those silver vine nuggets. <laughs> Raindrop. Is that, is that coming from the next room? Because I just hear the echo of it. It sounds like it could be coming from anywhere. Oh, wow. Sumatra, and it's Buddy Brew Coffee. It's got a little picture of a dog on it. How cute. Buddy Brew. It's also got an arrow on the side. This is perfect. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Thank you so much for the coffee. That is exactly my jam. Uh, I'm going to enjoy that. I turned the camera, uh, the arrow towards the camera there. Oh, there's another coffee in here. Oh, but wait, there's more. There's also all this tissue paper that I bet these kids would love to play with. I don't think they've had a, a real tissue pit yet. I'm just going to try to put it right here for the moment. There we go. Then we can do something fun with all of it when we find the right size box, I think. Okay. There's uh, one more coffee in here. And this is one that I am familiar with. Stumptown Coffee Roasters uh, Hair Bender. Mm. It says citrus and dark chocolate. I know I've had this before. I don't remember what I thought of it. So uh, it's, uh, it's good for me to try it again. That's, uh, that's also exciting. Wow, what a great uh, box. Just full of wonderful stuff. And even the box itself is so wonderful. I think I want to put the stuff back in here and hang on to it for a while because the art on it is just fantastic. So I guess this will be the start of our endowments for today. And then everything else, oh, this is uh, future use. Okay, that can go in there. Everything else is for deployment. Uh, I knew Maggie was going to go for that. I don't know if you can see her, but she is loving on that broccoli. Of course, she doesn't care about the broccoli part at all. Ah, 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 Maggie, here, take it with, oops, I missed. Maggie, take it with you instead of sitting here and hitting kittens. There. Okay. She can go play with it out there. Uh, thank you so much for all that Joy F and company. That is, uh, that's quite a box. Thank you very, very much. Uh, the kittens are going to love all that stuff. I guess I'll leave this out. Buddy has wedged himself under the camera. I wonder if I can get a picture of that for all of you. Oh, hang on. Oh. I see somebody telling me where the, the Coke is at because I just said I couldn't see it or told me a minute ago. Uh, hey, buddy. Oh, 
Oh, good. I think I got a picture of him wedged under the camera. It's very silly. Also, I see uh, that our uh, Wellington thinks that this uh, food thing is just a toy. He's just reaching in there to try to play with the other kittens through it. There's no food in it, but he's still playing in it. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Buddy. Buddy, why? Well, I didn't anticipate that. Now I got to take a look to see if the infrared filters come on. Because uh, last time they knocked it over, it did. No, oh, okay, I think we're good. Buddy, buddy, do you not have any toys to play with? Where's your, uh, where's that fun tube you just got? Where did it go, pal? Come here, buddy. Come on. Seriously, though, where is it? And what is this? What is this? Why did I do the mailbag up here? Okay, let's try to get through this. I'm just going to keep getting distracted. Like I said, I didn't get as much sleep as I would have liked. And I think that's showing, so let's just uh, let's keep rolling here. Ooh. All right, this is, uh, this is food. It just says Kitten Academy on the outside, so we're going to have to look for a note. Halo freeze-dried raw treats chicken. Ooh, uh, that's good stuff. And we have the chicken recipe. Nulo, that's perfect. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's perfect. Oh, not Nulo, it's Halo. Oh, interesting. Okay, something new for us to try. So you're both Halo. Uh, and there is a note. Hang on. It says, here we go. Enjoy, Halo! Purchased because of claim for good poop. Oh, interesting. Uh, written in an image, may have been with a different formulation. Um, Ellen DeGeneres is part owner, sure wants the best for her furries. Uh, I don't see Halo or Nulo on the best list. Um, obviously from the same source. Okay. Uh, no like setup, only one item by cat. Okay, I don't know. Some of that leads some decoding, <laughs> but... Uh, Breezy Melody One. That's from Breezy Melody One at uh, I think it's at Gmail. Uh, Breezy Melody One. Thank you so much for sending Halo. Um, I guess what I can translate from what you wrote is that it's supposed to be good for the kittens poops. So I will try it out. I'll try it right out on these uh, the little kittens here and see because we've had a real issue with that. Also, I just started deworming them, so I guess we should expect bad poops. The dewormer we've got to do three more days of. Um, and he's, try, he's trying to catch his tail through that thing. I, can I just move this, buddy? Will you keep playing with it if I move it right over here? Because you don't, I don't think you're visible on the camera, but you should be, and that's just too silly. What is it? Oh, 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 did it get set on your foot? I'm sorry, pal. I'm sorry. Oh, you're just going to get little kisses. Okay. It caught you. It caught you. You were trying to catch it, and it caught you instead. Okay, now you can go back to playing. I don't know what kind of a toy that is, but all right. Uh, uh, thank you so much, uh, Breezy, Breezy. Was uh oh now I put the Breezy Melody One. Yeah, okay, Breezy Melody One. Thank you. Uh, I'll we'll definitely try out the Halo. I'm up for trying anything new uh, for these kittens at this point. We've we've tried everything we know to try, uh, and uh, it's still not better yet. But soon, I hope soon. Okay, next we have. Honestly, soon, because I just, the poop, oh my goodness. <sighs> All right, well, this just says, enjoy your gift. I think this is from Mishi on Discord. Uh, I hope I'm giving credit to the right person there, because it just says your real name, which I won't use, because I don't think you do. Um, and it's full of good stuff. Uh, there's no just says it's from you, that's all. So, uh, there, wow, there's some cool stuff in here, though. We have the Yao Catnip Moon, Sun, Moon, and Stars set. I haven't seen that one in a while, and I like that. Uh, Maggie apparently likes it too. Maggie, go eat your broccoli. Go on, go eat your broccoli. Go, 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 go. Hey, go out. If you're going to hiss and be mad at kittens, you need to go. She doesn't understand, of course. Uh, we have a Yao Catnip Heart. We have a Yao Catnip Banana. So a very Yao heavy bag here. There's even more. Another, no, this is the balls. Uh, I don't think I've seen that one in a while either. Three different balls filled with Yao catnip. We have the bag of skitter critters. Those are also, AKA Logan's mice. Uh, we have a rainbow Yao. Wow, that's like the entire Yao collection. And then two boxes in here with uh, cats on them. It says fuzzy tail catnip toys. Uh, cute little packaging here. The best gift, no cat doesn't like playing with its tail. It's the best gift for furry friends. Oh, so it's like a, it's a tail. It's a cat tail. Okay, we got to open one of these and see what's up, because I don't think I've seen this before. 
Okay. Let's see here. Oop. Hip. There we go. All right. Well, it's packaged inside a package. Oh, I see. So they're basically like big catnip kickers made out of the marshmallow bed material. These are pretty. Let's take the mint green one. Oh, and they're crinkly. All right. I think they will have fun with that. We'll leave one out right now. Okay, and the other two we can save. Um, that would give us five, I guess six. Uh, Mom just won't get one in her endowment, possibly. We'll see. Uh, potato Roma. Potato, no, Potaro. Potaroma. Potaroma. Okay, took me a couple tries. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for those. I'm going to put those over here with the endowments because there's five of them. There's five of kittens in this. Oh, and look at that. Wow, um, I guess it is a hit. We've got Spatula over here is already fighting with it full on. Mm, she likes that. Okay, cool. Wow. Who knew? That's an immediate hit. Uh, oh, here, let's use this box to put stuff that's for us into. The coffee, the tea, uh, not the stuff to deploy. But let's just get this stuff out of the way there. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Mishi. I'm giving Mishi credit whether that's correct or not. Uh, I don't care. I, I guess I care. I do care, but, uh, you know. Okay, all right. So many kittens here. Next up, we have... Uh, this one also just says Kitten Academy. Hopefully there's a note. Oh, okay, classic. Box within a box. It says cat tunnel bed. Interesting. I've seen lots of cat beds. I've seen lots of cat tunnels. Uh, enjoy your gift from Vicky. All right, Vicky, thank you very much. I'm going to put that box right back there for a minute. And we're going to just see what a cat tunnel bed is. How do these words fit together? Oh, whew. I half expected it to like fly out of there like a, you know, like cause cat tunnels, they're like that. Uh, they pop up uh, like a, like a can of uh, worms. Huh. Interesting. Okay. It's got like a, like a bassinet cover that zips on there. I see that. Okay. And then the rest is a nicely packaged cat tunnel of some kind. It's very plush. There's zippers. Uh, I can see how it would be a bed cause it's so soft. There's also one end that's got, hang on, there we go, look at that. Okay, so this part is a cat tunnel, a big, soft, plush cat tunnel. Wow, it is very, it's heavy. You can tell it's made out of really thick material. Uh, I don't want to open it yet. I need to find a place to put it first. But it comes in at least two pieces of cat tunnel. I see that. Hmm, with zippers, and it's got the little uh, ties to hold it shut, and it's, like I said, it's super soft. There's also something... I think that's just the zipper. Okay, all right. And then this end is, well, this end is a, a big round mat. Okay, well, I want to see what's going on with that, but I don't have room in here to open this right now. Oh, wait, there's a picture. Aha. Oh, thank goodness. Parts list. I see. Okay, uh, there's a picture for everybody. It's a ring and a tunnel, and it's got a canopy over the middle part of the ring. So like a donut, picture a donut. The canopy goes over the donut hole, and the bed goes in the donut hole, so they can sit in there. And then on one end of the donut, it's got a little tube that sticks out, like the letter Q. Um, there you go. That looks incredible. The kittens are going to love it. Uh, that's going to be someplace that they're just going to live. Uh, as soon as I know they're not going to poop in it, because washing this thing looks like it would be a little difficult. So we might have to hang on to it before we put it out. It's also got uh, some balls that I'm sure hang from somewhere for them to play, for, play with. Uh, that, that's so cool. Wow, thank you so much, Vicki. Uh, if you sent it for a reason, like you wanted it to go to someone in particular, or be an endowment or something, please let me know. Uh, you know how to get in touch with us. Or um, if you didn't, you just want it to be used generally, then uh, that's exactly what we'll end up doing like I said, in due time, I want to make sure that it doesn't immediately get peed in or pooped in. Uh, also, Logan has been on the pee path lately. Uh, he's just been peeing all over the place. Um, I think it's because we've got two mom cats in that aren't fixed. That does tend to set him off a little bit. 
So hopefully at the end of this week, after they both get fixed, he'll settle down a little bit. But it sure hasn't helped with the amount of laundry that we have to do. It's just been incredible. Uh, anyway, uh, Vicky, thank you so much. Uh, that's that's just a really, really cool um, bed tunnel, I guess. Exactly. I, I don't know what I was expecting. It's exactly what it says on the box. <laughs> okay. Uh, this, look at this. This is so cool. Uh, I'm surprised that they would ship it with this string around here. You'd think it would get tangled up in their shipping machines, but uh, no, here it is. It's very classic. I love it. I love the, the brown paper with the string. It's just like Grandma used to send. And then it's covered in owls and pineapple and kitties. But the owls, I think, are a giveaway. The owls and the abundance of stickers together, I suppose. Well, hang on. One of these kittens smells exceptionally poopy. Oh, yeah. There we go. Where did you just come from, buddy? Because you brought a lot of poop with you. Hang on. Hang on. We got a poop mess. Oh, I see. There it is. Well, who knows where it was tracked in the meantime. Uh, this is why at some point we just got to wash the whole room just like so yesterday I washed the entire um, master bedroom I mean top to bottom I pulled everything out of there uh, I washed the floor I'm washing all the rugs that are in there um, some of them are still in the wash which is I say why I say it in the present tense and of course uh, DJ got to see it all nice and clean when she got home last night I'm thankful for that because uh, the clean, sterilized bedroom no longer exists. Uh, it definitely disappeared around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, what are you going to do? Hang on, don't step in that. We don't need somebody else to step in it. I got it. I know, I know. When are we going to get good poops out of these kittens? At least they used the litter box. Uh, they were in here all day yesterday and very consistently everything in the litter box. So that's nice. Even though that was a mess, it's nice that they try. Now that trash is completely full. I'll have to take it out if I have to clean up another mess. Where's... Okay, Squall is in the cheese. Oh, she snuggled up around a little mouse. Good, okay. I just wanted to make sure that she wasn't also covered in poop. Take a picture of her snuggling with that little mouse. Now she's going to get interrupted because Wellington knows where she is now. Anyway, all right. Uh, where was I? I was about to say, I think we know who this is from. Let's find out. Now, these strings, of course, are going to have to go in my pocket. We can't keep those out with the cats, but uh, very cool. It does. It, it, it makes me think of the packages my grandma would send us when I was little, uh, which were always fun. Okay. Well, I don't want to cut through all these stickers, but I guess that's just the way. Ooh. All right. Right on the top, we have the note. Perfect. Maggie, are you going to do bad stuff in here again? Why do you keep coming in here? Your broccoli's out there somewhere. Go, go find your broccoli. Go on, go find your broccoli. All right, we have the note. It's got, uh, oh, a little unicorn and uh, like a galaxy. And we've got owls and kitties again. Oh, and pineapple and rainbows. I love it. This little sleepy kitty. Such cute ones. We've got a pineapple with sunglasses and a stethoscope. How weird. And that looks like that's the way it was. Like you didn't invent that by putting two stickers together. You actually had a sticker of a pineapple wearing sunglasses with a stethoscope. I, I don't understand uh, how such a thing... Who... I... Uh, I don't know. My brain was broken already, so I have no idea. All right. I think we do know who this is from because it looks, it feels like an extremely long letter, uh, which we've been through before... Oh, you sent uh, the rainbows and the unicorn stickers. Oh, that's so, so fun. All right. Um, here we go. Dear Mr. A, did I ever mention I have a tendency to go overboard with gift giving? When I was little, from the ages of 7 to 12, I had a paper route. I did too, by the way. Uh, I would have kept... 
doing it, except I got pneumonia that winter and spent all of February in bed either sleeping or reading. I would have kept doing mine, except I was incredibly lazy, and uh, I would always want my dad to drive us around to deliver the papers so I wouldn't have to ride my bike or walk. Uh, talk about lazy. Wow, I was, as a kid, um, I don't know. I'm not proud of who I was. <laughs> um, all right, it took me two weeks to read a book. I would have needed one sick day to get through, not uh, that I played hooky. I'd just get worn out and need an extra day to recharge. I often had a fever or sore throat, and I'd play up my symptoms. When I had pneumonia, it was the first time I downplayed my symptoms, so I wouldn't have to go back to the hospital. There's one of the digressions I warned you about in my last letter right off the bat, too. Anyway, the paper route wasn't lucrative, but it made up for not having an allowance, except at Christmas time. The tips were incredibly generous. The first time I saw a $50 bill, it was a fresh, crisp one inside a card addressed to the paper girl. From November until the end of the year, I never bought anything for myself. It all went into gifts for my sisters and parents. I took some pride in sussing out things they wanted but hadn't put on any lists. And every dime went towards those gifts. My excitement Christmas morning was only a tiny bit about opening my gifts. Mostly, I looked forward to surprising my sisters with something they didn't know they wanted or didn't dare ask for because of the expense. For me... My only spending limit was how much did I get in tips this year? The first year I had a real job with a real paycheck. I spent the entirety of my first December paycheck on presents. I remember going into Kmart and just loading up a shopping cart. I didn't keep a running total or pay much attention to prices at all. I remember about $100 going to a new microwave for my parents. Wow. At the time, they'd been using the same electric uh, hog one they'd had since 1983. It was great at burning microwave popcorn <laughs> or dimming all the lights. Uh, that's funny, dimming all the lights. Uh, uh, well, that brings back memories, too. Okay, if there's an opposite of an early adopter, my parents are it. We had the only house in the neighborhood with a TV antenna on the roof. It may still be up. My dad did side gigs repairing VCRs long after you'd think it was lucrative, and they were still using dial-up. Wow. That, uh, those cattails really are, a, I'm surprised they're such a hit. Um, my dad did side gigs repairing VCRs long after you'd think it was lucrative. Hey, 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 I'm going to kick you out if you're going to hiss at the kittens. You just keep playing. Come on. Um, they were still on dial up when I was in college. Their house is a living time capsule. All right. Head out. Let's go. All right. Fine. Get one more chance. Uh, I have a healthy appreciation for modern technology, but an innate mistrust of first-generation devices. <laughs> yeah, boy, tell me about it. I've been burned quite a few times. Uh, willingness to fix something rather than replace it will free up quite a, a lot of disposable income to bury your loved ones in gifts. And so I do. I have nephews and a niece, and I'm not... The aunt sending socks every year. I quiz my sisters on their children's interests. Check what deals uh, what deals moms are sharing on social media and keep a mental list up all through the year of kids' interests. It wasn't difficult to add Kitten Academy to the list. At first, I was just making note of a cat or pineapple theme things, but restricting myself to letters. I can't remember which present I had to send that opened the floodgates, but open them it has. Everything is, of course, to be used as you see fit. I've sent you a great assortment of socks, most of which are bright enough bingo playing discorders should be able to see easily if they don't match. <laughs> I've sent a couple of signs, uh, sizes of pineapple shirts and a sweatshirt that would fit an adult cat normally or a small one as a baggy oversized youth style thing. Are young people still wearing baggy clothes? I don't know. I haven't been a TJ or teenager since the 1990s. Uh... The box contains the sort of figurine only I would send, and the sign was just cute. The bag with your name on it has some office supplies and three pins. I figured you could use them as push pins since you don't seem to like the uh, be uh, don't seem like the embellishment type. There we go. Uh, one is very you. One describes kittens pretty much since birth, and one is a pineapple. If you do ever wear that one, take care; it stays right side up. Uh, oh, so you mean uh, like pins like you wear. I actually have a collection of them. I haven't actually worn them very often, but 
Uh, I've got uh, a little box with them, and I plan on wearing them more often. And I've got one that I've wanted to wear for a long time. It's like front and center of my closet. I see it every time I go in my closet, and I still haven't put it on with anything. Um, uh, especially because I tend to put them on my shirt, and then I forget them, and they go in the laundry, and that's not good. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Uh, suffice it to say, potential moms or otherwise uh, have nothing to do with these gatherings. Okay, um, upside down pineapples. Last but not least, there's a small bag for DJ with things to add to her tiny collection. Well, except the sticky notes. Those are just silly and it amuses me to think of a doctor using them. I've sent her a tiny package to open, a tiny mailbox with tiny parcels and letters, tiny newspapers, a tiny sewing kit, and an old tiny, tiny doctor's case. The tiny cat in its tiny box doubles as a tiny sticky notes, and apparently it is named Ari. Too cute to pass up. Too appropriate, too. Uh, DJ does love tiny stuff. Wow. I hope you and DJ... I don't know how you fit all that in this box. It must be very tiny. <laughs> um, all right. I hope you and DJ like at least some of what I've sent. I know you both work so hard to help raise the kittens in your care. It shows in how happy and loved you can see the alumni are. I regularly peruse the archives of the, that Discord channel, sometimes going back weeks or months to catch a glimpse of what's become of the fuzzy, squeaking tinies I remember. It's amazing how quickly they go from potato-shaped, wriggling, uncoordinated blob to full-on cats who play, climb, snuggle, sleep, and get into everything they shouldn't. The continuing adventures of Astro are certainly a highlight, and I'm delighted to hear Hoggy still makes his Hoggy noises. But really, I'm watching the mom cats fill in, floof up, and enjoy their the kittenhood uh, she ushered her babies through at the academy. Yes, uh, I know it's not all beanbag snuggles and adorable antics, but you've always focused on how we, the viewers, and Discord community experience the academy. I can't imagine functioning on as little sleep as you have been the last couple of weeks and sharing bad news so compassionately. Surely you and DJ have to be hit hardest when things are rough, but you're always prioritizing us and how we're processing things. It does not go unnoticed, and we really appreciate it. So, I hope you can get some use out of my many tokens of regard. I'm delighted to have such a worthy recipient. Warmly, Alice the Owl, of course, if you hadn't guessed. Also, um, it took me... P.S. It took me so long to get everything together and finish your letter... Even more things I'd ordered came in, so please also enjoy the glasses stand and the magnets. I'd also forgotten to mention I was including stickers because it's really an Alice the Owl correspondence without stickers. I hope you're doing well and getting a little more sleep these days. All my love to DJ and the faculty, especially Eddie, your standard issue cat. Hi. Uh, it's a subreddit. Oh, I didn't know standard issue cat was a subreddit, uh, I don't think. Most likely born of people posting in cat subs asking what breed their cat is. You can only reply, most domestic cats are a mishmash of breeds before people start to get creative with their responses. I see. The new invented models to account for ver variations in cat patterns. Well, that sounds like fun. I'll have to check it out. Uh, PPS, want to hazard a guess as to what my favorite color might be? I'll give you a hint. And there is a blue owl here, I think. Uh, so I guess a blue, like a Russian blue maybe, like a gray, like Ari? Um, or, oh, I see, a bunch of purple stickers. Uh, maybe it's purple then. Okay, well, it's hard to find a purple cat, but I guess it could be possible. All right, Alice the Owl, thank you so much for the novel. And, uh, ooh, we got some nice bags here too. Look at this. It's got a pineapple on it. That, really, like a rainbow pineapple. That's so pretty. I love it. Oh, and more bags inside. Wow, all right. Uh, this bag also has pineapples on it, and it says DJ. Oh, there, this must be the tiny stuff. Let's see if I can find it here. Wow, Nibbles really likes that catnip, uh, uh, cat tail toy. She is still going at it. All right, let's see the DJ bag here. Oh, wow, like you said, it's packed full of things. We have little strings of tiny... Christmas lights wrapped around uh, band-aid shaped uh, sticky notes. I see why you thought those were clever. Band-aid shaped sticky notes. I love the little Christmas lights on it too. Those are super cute. Uh, we have, oh, you did say a little post office box or a little post box, which is exactly what that is. A, uh, another set of post-it notes inside, uh, the, which is a cat sitting in a box. 
Very cute. Uh, oh, a little coffee maker, a little tiny coffee maker. Perfect. Sometimes you just need a little pick me up. <laughs> uh, we've got some oh little tiny packages to go inside the little tiny mailbox. Also, they're wrapped in the brown paper and the string. Classic. Also, we have tiny newspapers for me to tiny read. We have a doctor's bag of tools here. I see a syringe, a stethoscope, one of those reflex hammers, forceps, and a scalpel. Uh, very tiny. Well, that's super cute, by the way. She's going to love it. Uh, we have another box here. It says DHL. There's something in it, which I think we'll just let DJ open. And I see a little tiny... Oh, I see. Is this the... It is. It's a little... T oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's a teeny tiny little doctor's bag and inside are teeny tiny little doctor's tools. Oh, she is. she's going to get a big kick out of this. I think you said a teeny tiny sewing kit, which is exactly what this is. Oh, and it also opens up and has the stuff in it. Oh, goodness. And then... <laughs> A little tiny, teeny tiny cell phone. Actually, this teeny tiny cell phone would be probably exactly the right size for the DJ doll that someone sent years ago that we still have. She came with a laptop, but the laptop broke a long time ago. Uh, she still has it, but it's, it doesn't stay open. So giving her a cell phone might be perfect. This sewing kit is adorable. It's got little tiny spools of thread and a little tiny um, tape measure. And a little tiny pair of scissors, of course, and some uh, uh, spools of thread, I think maybe I said already. That's so cute. I'll put it back in here so it doesn't fall open. Wow. Uh, that's, that's just amazing. That whole bag is amazing. DJ's going to get such a kick out of that. Let's see if I can fit all of it back in here carefully now. And we will set that aside to give to her when she gets home. She is on call all weekend. Um, fortunately, lately, she's been able to come home in the evenings even when she is on call because she has a resident now. Um, you know how it goes. Uh, the, the first, um, as a, once you graduate med school, you become a resident. And depending on what specialty you're going into, uh, that can be for anywhere from a couple years to several many years. Uh, in DJ's specialty, it is three years. So she's been through that already. Uh, and then after you're a resident, you become, um, well, it depends. Uh, if you just then, uh, you're done and you go into whatever your specialty is, then you are an attending. That's a, what they call a full-on regular doctor, I suppose, is an attending doctor. Um, but DJ didn't do that and she decided to do a subspecialty, which is what uh, they call a fellowship. So as she's now in a fellowship, she gets to be in charge of the, the, the younger doctors that are uh, residents. So she has a resident that can sort of keep an eye on things at the hospital and then call her if they need anything, and she can run in if she has to. But, uh, but she gets to come home at night, which is that's, it's so nice. Uh, it doesn't always work out. Of course, there's been a few times when she has to leave in the middle of the night to go into the hospital. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? All right, here we have the little tiny cat shirts that have their green with pineapples on them. Very cool. I don't have a bag to put that stuff in yet, so we'll just put it here in the pile that we're growing. We have an owl. Uh, how appropriate. I see it is an owl, but what is it? It is... Oh, I see. It's another cat outfit um, that has... Hey, all right, Nibbles, out. Go on. Hey, you know. All right. Uh, it's got an owl, and it looks like the the guy from The Watchmen. What's his name? Night Owl, I think. Is that right? It, that's what it reminds me of. It looks like one of his outfits, except this is a little too colorful. But this uh, really looks like something he would wear. <laughs> uh, maybe the origin story. That's that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, we have this... Oh, oh, glasses stand. That's what that is. That's so cute. It's a little kitty cut out of wood, and it's got a nose that you can push out to fit the glasses onto, so he'll actually be wearing the glasses when you put them on there. How cute is that? <laughs> I can't see it, of course, because I have my glasses off. Uh, I'm sure it's adorable, though. That is super cute. Okay, uh, what else here? There's still more. Oh, my goodness, and there's a whole other bag after this. Uh, how do I open this? Here we go. These kids are into everything now. Oh my, oh my, it appears to be a pineapple owl. A pine owl? Pine, pineapple owl? I don't know. It's so pretty and pineapple-y. 
Wow, that's it's gorgeous. It's a, like a ceramic uh, model of a pineapple that is also an owl. I don't know how you found something so perfect, uh, but that's so cute. That'll have to go right into our little cabinet of special things in the kitchen. He's beautiful. Oh, I love his little face, and the, the pineapple hair really makes it for me. That's so cute. Um, here we go. Put him in here so he doesn't fall out. And put that over here in the box of stuff for us, along with this. All right, we're going to run out of room over there in a minute. And then, you, oh, a metal sign. Be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. That would go just great uh, behind our fruit bowl, I think, in the kitchen. I love it. Uh, or in one of these rooms. That's really pretty. Oh, I love this. This is a great sketch of a pineapple. Oh, it feels like it's actually been drawn on there. No, I see. That's just where the, the way the, well, I don't know. Maybe it's the way it's printed. That's really cool. Uh, here, we could have used that bag for our stuff, but I'll just set it over there. All right, one more. Hang on now. It's another pineapple bag. And let's see here. Oh, socks. You did mention socks. Yes. Okay. Uh, here we have pineapple socks that are pink, pineapple socks that are bright blue, and pineapple socks that are white. Oh, wow. So that's every kind of pineapple sock. Also, a whole other stack of socks here. Oh, these are so cool. Excuse me. This one is a pair of socks that has a cat wearing a suit on it. It's very cool. And glasses. And it, on the feet, it says, today I'm only talking to the cat. <laughs> I have a lot of days like that. This one says, sorry, I can't. I have plans with the cat. I also have the t-shirt version of that, and I love it. Um, very cool. Little cats wearing glasses on that. And then we have rainbow socks. I can't believe I've never owned a pair of rainbow socks. Uh, it is about time. I'm so excited. And uh, purple, your favorite color. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, gradient. There we go. Gradient's the word I'm looking for. A purple gradient socks. Uh, that is also really fun. This is a great set of socks. My goodness. Uh, thank you very much, Alice the Owl. Oh, wait, one more thing. Uh, what is this? This is, oh, real fuzzy owl sock slippers? They're, they're sockets. They're, I would call them, oh, or maybe they're sock puppets? No, no, just, oh, that's strange. I don't understand because they are, um, maybe it's to put them away. Uh, does the label give a clue? No. Okay, well, somebody will explain to me why a sock is made this way. It is a sock. Uh, it goes all the way to the end, but then also the owl part at the end is a pocket, like maybe it would be a slipper or something, but it's not. Uh, and they're both that way, and I could easily see getting them out of the laundry and sort of rolling them up so that you have an owl that's three-dimensional. But other than that, I can't imagine why there's a pocket at the end of the sock that has an owl on it. Uh, somebody who knows can let me know how that's supposed to work. And then one more... Uh, yellow cat socks with little cats, little black cats on them. So cute. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of socks. Wow, you really socked it to me. Uh, let's put these all... Uh, what to do here? I want to put them all in a single box, but I'm going to need a bigger boat for all this stuff. Let's see. All right, I'm put this here, and we'll put all this stuff right here. And then I'm going to just turn this box out carefully into here. Alice, uh, Alice the Owl, that is so sweet. I see why you explained uh, the gift giving in your history. And boy, uh, you are good at it. That's all stuff that makes a lot of sense for us. And uh, you obviously put so much thought into it. And it's really sweet of you to do. I want uh, you and I want everybody to know that it's not... It's certainly not necessary, and uh, in fact, DJ and I always feel a little bit bad when people send stuff that's for us. Um, also good, though. I, I shouldn't, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that I don't appreciate it because I really do. It's wonderful stuff. Um, thank you very, very much. It's, uh, I don't even know what to say, honestly, Alice the Owl. Thank you very, very much for all that. It's such cool stuff. I can't wait for DJ to get home so I can show her all the little tiny stuff that you sent, especially the doctor's tools and the doctor's bag. They are so cute. Oh, I just, I can't wait for her to see that and get her reaction. Um, it's a shame that she's not here so that you guys could see. 
All right, now maybe we can use this to put these into. All right, we're getting this. And this can go over here. And these, I'm going to have to, whoop, we'll put those. Oh, wow, there's a staple that came out there somewhere. Just tuck those right up there for now with the staple. All right, good. Okay, rolling, moving right along. I want to get through all this, even if it is taking me a while. I know it's already been an hour. Um, and I don't think the rest of it is going to go all that much faster. But there's my Coke. Um, I don't think that this is maybe not going to go any faster, but I'll try. Because uh, I know people have things to do, uh, me included. But I don't want anybody to feel like they got short shrift either. Okay. This has some really cute animals on it. There's a cat on this side. Is there a cat on the other side? Oh, you wouldn't be able to tell. Okay. Hopefully I got everything covered up there because I was just showing you all that in some detail. Okay. Let's see here. Wow, everybody's playing with that cat tail toy. I did not expect that to be such a hit. I guess I said that a few times already. Uh, sometimes I repeat myself, but sometimes I repeat myself. All right. What's new, Pussycat? With a cute little orange kitty with blue eyes on it. It says, my mom chose the card. Oh, inside is this. It says, whoa, whoa, whoa. Of course it does. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, we all thought it, so fair enough. Here we've got some beautiful photos inside of what appears to be a waterfall. Uh, wow, really, two beautiful waterfalls. And there you go. I hope you can see those a little bit. And then we have a person with a cat. That's a beautiful cat, too, because we're going to see... Oh, Tiger. Tiger and me, Sharon. Tiger would have been six in this photo. Uh, 23 years ago uh, is when she passed on. So uh, uh, quite an old photo there. And Sumatra as a kitten about five to seven months old. I thought they were the same cat because they're both calicos. But no, you can see they're not. Uh, beautiful calicos, though. Wow, real classic calico. Okay. Uh, there we go. There's also some notes. Top three picks, Sumatra, my second cat, 17 and a half. Middle three, Missy, my third cat. Bottom three, Lulu. Inside cardboard. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to keep an eye out for the, uh, the cardboard. Oh, this, no, this, no. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for that. Hang on. Okay to read on stream. Well, we probably should have started here bygones. Uh, hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Well, we finally got around to sending something to you and the cats. We know May was a difficult month, so we've sent in a few treats for the humans to say thanks for everything you and DJ do. There are a few bits and bobs for the kittens as well to deploy as you see fit. The cat toys are handmade here in Christchurch, New Zealand by a little lady, um, nope, by a lady from Little Lion's Business. The catnip is mainly from her garden, but also sourced from other parts of NZ if she does not have enough. The chocolates are made in a small town called Blenheim, which is in the top, top half of the South Island. And we live in the middle of the South Island in Christchurch, same city as the cat toys are from. Truffles was my first class, and I've been hooked ever since. My sister and I are both on Discord, although she is a lurker, but she loves all the fun comments, gifts, and pics. I occasionally post in cat spam, and we both agree that Discord is the best place on the internet. Our mother just loves watching the kittens, and Teaspoon is her favorite at the moment. I've included photos of the four girls I've had over the years. Thanks for all you do. Sharon, who is Sumatra18, and Lynn, who is Missy May on Discord. Well, thank you so much. It's great to hear from you, and uh, I love it. Um, uh, I, I, I'm surprised. You made me think. I'm surprised that um, Little Teaspoon hasn't been in here to visit yet, although he was feeling a little tired this morning. I think the heart medicine that we've got him on kind of makes him a little bit calm sometimes. And I think he's feeling it this morning. Uh, so, all right, cat toys. I think that must be what this is. Let's take a look here. Ooh, catnip scented felt ball set. Oh, wow, and it's in a sealed bag. Return felt balls to this bag with a sachet and seal between play sessions to keep them smelling of catnip. Well, of course. I'm not going to open it yet because it's sealed up there with catnip, but that is great. Uh, oh, we've got a couple of those here. We have Little Lions. What a great photo. 
Thank you. Your purchase made my day. I hope this parcel brightens yours. What a cute thing to say. That's at little lion s n little lions n z. I see little lions n z. Uh, probably on. Well, they only have Facebook and Instagram uh, uh, logos here, so I guess that works. Catnip scented felt ball set. All right, we got another. Like I said, and then we have a whole bunch of uh, interesting little cat kickers here. Each one. Let's see. We got a little fish. We have, I love the little cat print on this, and it's got some yarn at the top to make it, um, I don't know, uh, fun. <laughs> here we've got a, a fish with cat heads on it. These are such great prints. Wow. Uh, here we've got another little tiny fish, and it's got a loop at the end. Oh, so all the fish do. Both the fish do. These two fish do. Okay. So we can put those on a wand real easy. Uh, here we've got one with a real classic fish pattern on the kicker. Here we have one that has paper airplanes on it and also uh, the little loop on the end. And then another big one with a leopard print. Oh, those are great. I'm going to put them back in the plastic bag so we don't expose all this catnip right now. And we will hopefully get a chance to share these with the kittens. Wow, those are fantastic. Thank you so much for those. And inside, oh my goodness, wow, you sent a lot of stuff here. Um, this is the chocolate, I guess, that you were talking about, but it's not just chocolate. Makana, is that how you say that? M-A-K-A-N-A. -A -A. Macadamia caramel corn. Oh, man, that's fancy two ways. Uh, that looks great. I can see there's like chopped up macadamia nuts in with the caramel corn. Oh, my mouth is watering. I want to eat it right now. Uh, macadamia butter toffee crunch. Oh, wow. Uh, wait, did that say... Macadamia butter toffee crunch. It did say macadamia. I guess that's macana must be all macadamias, huh? That must be the deal. Is is that something that they grow in NZ? I guess I don't. I wasn't aware of that because we get all of ours, I guess, from Hawaii probably. Uh, hazelnut and caramel chunks. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. As we do not add preservatives, please remember to consume these confections before the use-by date. <gasps> oh, oh no. Uh, uh, an excuse to eat these things as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> and then we have one more. Chocolate-dipped macadamia shortbread. Oh, it's beautiful, too. It is chocolate-dipped shortbread. <gasps> oh, my goodness. I wonder what macadamia shortbread is like. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's too much. It's too wonderful. I'm so, my mouth is literally watering right now. Uh, look at these. These are the rest of the photos you mentioned. They're so cool. What beautiful cats. And uh, you must have been quite a photographer to take these back in the day. Uh, you know, 20 years ago, it was a different story than it is today where everybody's just got their phone out. Uh, 23 plus years ago, actually. I guess it would have been, it would have been over 30 years ago if I'm doing the math right. Am I? It would have been 30, about 30 years ago. Wow. Uh, that's just amazing. I love the photos. I love all the stuff you sent. I especially am excited to try all of this macadamia uh, candies of various types. Wow. I'm going to add that to the box of stuff for me, and uh, I'm going to make a note, a mental note. Uh, just, I don't want them to get anywhere near that expiration date because, you know, we just, I wouldn't want to risk the thought of them having come all this way from New Zealand and then not being fully appreciated. So I'll have to eat them soon, like rather than, maybe today. I might have to eat all of it today uh, just because we wouldn't want it to, you know, we wouldn't want it to taste any, any uh, less great than it does today. Uh, of course, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, Sumatra 18 and Missy May. That's just, that's fantastic of you. I can't thank you enough. Um, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, that's fun stuff for us and fun stuff for the kittens. I know they're going to enjoy. Okay, but there's more. We've got to keep this thing moving. I've got two kittens, though. How am I supposed to reach the other boxes? They're all the way over there. Okay, kittens, hang on. Hang on. Oh, we got some purrs here, too. I don't know which one of these two is purring, but one of them is. All right, I can at least reach one of the two boxes here. This says ship to Kitten Academy, but I can see it's been hand packed in a recycled Amazon box. So hopefully there will be a note. Ooh. Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> I picked uh, um, some week to postpone mailbag for a day because uh, everything today is wonderful, hand sent stuff, and it's gonna it's gonna take some time to get through. It says, thank you for the things you do. Thank you for your kindness. And it has little dogs and cats jumping for joy. Oh, and it pops up a big thank you. And if we get a little loud, we hope that you won't mind us. That's so sweet. Mr. A and Dr. DJ and faculty, uh, faculty, cats and kittens, uh, thank you for showing all the mom, cats and kittens. Oh, wait, uh, wait. Mr. A... Uh, Hang on. Oh, no, that's it. Thank you for showing all the... I'm reading it right. Okay, sorry. It took me a minute to parse it. I, like I said, I haven't been getting enough sleep. It's all my fault. Uh, thank you for showing all the mom, cats, and kittens and your amazing hard work. Enjoy the gifts. My cats and kittens watch Kitten Academy every day from Jody Lynn and two mom cats and three kittens. Jody Lynn... Thank you in advance. Uh, that's wonderful. Thank you for the really cute card, too. And uh, thank you for taking care of some mom, cats, and kittens yourself. I think that's fantastic. All right. Let's see here. A little bit more packing material. And oh, Serenity has an octopus cat wand. I think she'll like that. She's been a real kitten lately. Um, I'm going to put it over here with the stuff that is for specific cats. This says Sprout. <laughs> it's, it's wrapped up very nicely, but I think there might be a clue what's inside with that, with that little feather sticking out. Well, I don't want to remove the labeling, but I do want to see what's in here for everybody, don't I? I don't think we're just supposed to put it straight in his endowment without opening it. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go too far, though, because I want to remember who it is. Uh, it is a giraffe cat kicker. Very good. Uh, he's going to love that little sprout. So I'm going to put that up here as well. Wellingtons. Um, I don't know. Could be anything. Probably underwear. Let's see here. <laughs> okay. It is. Oh, I see. It's one of those uh, little tiny cat tunnels that suction cups onto a window. We've seen these before, and the kittens have enjoyed them. Uh, there we go. I think you can see that. It's got suction cups. It goes on a window or something, and it's got a little ball, and it's like a miniature little cat track uh, with a ball in it. And that's perfect for Wellington. He is going to really enjoy that. All right. I can't believe you wrapped all this stuff. I love it. It's so sweet of you. Okay, this says for Serenity... Oh, now, this one's a little bit easier to open and see, because we've got it like a bag here. Oh, oh no! Ah! I've wrecked everything now. Figures. Pride goeth before a fall. Okay, you know what? It's in another plastic bag. I think we can just put a label on that so we don't forget. Uh, that's some nice wrapping, though. Shame to have to set it aside. I see what it is. It's a marshmallow bed, and it's a nice uh, sort of a salmon-colored marshmallow bed. It's for Serenity. I have to write that on here because I will forget instantly. Um, so, that's so nice of you. S-E-R-E-N-I-T-Y. I can spell. All right. Uh, over here as well with the stuff with names. This is going to get top-heavy and fall off of here, though, if I'm not careful. All right, let's do that. Where did the two littlest kittens go? Where are uh, Squall and Wellingtons? I guess they headed back for their room, the bedroom. They're such big cats now. Um, they're six weeks old. It's their six-week appointment they're going for on Thursday, if you can believe that. It hardly seems like it's been six weeks. Of course, in, in some ways, it seems like it's been a lot longer than that. <laughs> All right, this one is also for Serenity. Um... I'm still trying to be careful about opening these without... Oh, but this one's also wrapped up. Okay, good. So we can also label this one for her. Oh, it's a blanket that matches the bed. It's a perfect match, too. Okay. Oh, that's so sweet of you to, to put them together like that. I need to write her name on this one, too, though, for the same reason. What a great match. Oh, that's so sweet. And that, that salmon color, she's going to look real good on that with her gray coat, I think. Okay. 
There's more. There's so much more in here. Somebody just stole a feather out of here. Oh, there's like a feather thing in here with a lot of feathers. Okay, I, all right, I know what this is. This is a ball track. Now, Squall has one as well. I'm just going to move it right over there because we know exactly what it is. And I think we know what this is for Boy Bud. Bud the Boy. I think we know what it is. I think it's another catnip kicker. But it's hard to tell for sure. All right, let's open this end. It is a catnip kicker, but this one is a zebra print. Oh, that's so cool with the little black thing. Bud's going to like that, and that's going to look good with him. I'm going to put it right over here for now. Okay, moving right along. Everything, so many little wrap presents in here. Okay, we have a catnip kicker for Brawly. I know what it is. Mom cat nibbles. All right, what have we got for nibbles? We have to take a look. I'm trying to eat as many of these wrapped as I can because it's so cute, and their doctors will get a chance to enjoy that as well. Well, it is a little white ball with a yellow, I'm sorry, orange feather of some kind on it. There we go. Oh, look at that. Wow, it's a, like a, um, it makes me think of a puffer fish. Although it's made with little bird feathers, it's got a little mouth on the front and these cute little eyes. Look at that. And it's shaped like kind of a puffer. That's so cute. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. I'm so glad I pulled that out to look at it. But now, um, I guess I'm just going to have to label it Mom Cat Nibbles. All right. I think I just have to write on this one too. I'll put it right here. I think she'll like that. That seems like the kind of thing that she would run around with all day long. All right, put it over there. There's more, so much more. Okay, we have a ramekin. Let's take a peek here. This might be the same kind of ball. No, it's a different kind. Okay, we're just gonna have to write on each of these. Let's just go for it. Oh, wow, beautiful little cardinal for ramekin. Hi, that's you. Did you hear me say your name, buddy? You want it right now? Maybe you can wait. You're going home on Thursday. Let's keep it fresh. Okay. Goblet. Uh, similar. Perhaps the same. Blue. Very cute. Okay, I'm going to write gob on this one. Whoop, whoop. Easy for me to do. Perfect. Uh, so much more going on in here, though. Spatula, uh, I think that we're going to see the same deal here. Well, let's find out. We're just going to have to tear into it. There's no going halfway here. All right, we've got a, oh, this one's a mouse, though. Okay, here we go. Hang on. Here, here, you, L, I, okay. Perfect. This one is for Mom Cat Puddles. Oh, it's another one of the little puffer fish. Those are so cute. Oh, my goodness. This one's gray. Uh, that's just the cutest little thing. It's adorable. Uh, I said this one's for puddles, right? Yes, you did. Okay, for puddles. P-U-D-D-L-E-S. Easy. Okay. It's got, a, it's got a bell. Oh, those are so cute. Okay, hang on now. It's like Christmas morning in here. All right, there's a couple more. We have teaspoon. All right, what does the tea get? Another cat playing with that little cat tail kicker. Oh, all right, a similar bird, but in yet another color. We have a green one for teaspoon. That'll look great with his orange. All right, gingers look good with, uh, with green, don't they? Okay, right there. Uh... Oh, a Spork. Oh, a Spork. Okay, Spork already went, but we'll get this stuff to him in, in due time is how we work on that. Um, I have a pile of things in the basement nicely separated for previous graduates, stuff that came in just a little bit too late or didn't get sorted properly. It does happen sometimes. And someday, I'm going to mail it all out. So this one is going to get mailed to Spork. I wrote his name right on there. Okay, there we go. Her name, her name. Sorry, I still think of Spork. Uh, I still think of all of them as boys. I don't know why. Okay, Raindrop. Okay, well, all right. Now we're just getting to tearing these things open. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's another uh, zebra catnip kicker, but it was folded over. You fooled me. I see. Okay, well, we'll write raindrop on it. What do you think, huh? Little brawly? Well, you're probably going to get one, too. Let's see. Uh, Serenity. And I think this is probably going to be another one of the... Yep, pufferfish. So cute. Oh, my goodness. And it's gray with a blue tail. Looks just like her. Serenity. S-E-R-E-N-I-T-Y. Perfect. This, I'm running out of room in this box. I'm going to have to figure out what to do. Uh, and then one for dr Drizzle. And I think it is, yes, it is, well, all right, too late, though. We're just going to have to take it out and label it. All right. I love that you wrapped all these up. It's so fun. Uh, it's just, it is just drizzle, um, just like Christmas in here. Oh, that's jingly, too. Wow. All right, they're all going to love those, but there's still some stuff here in your box. Um, so you sent a bag full of stuff. The bag contains, this is what we were pulling feathers off of, I see. Somebody already stole one of these feathers. It's like a boa on a stick with a bumblebee, like a like sort of an abstract bumblebee toy on it. It's got little dangly bits. It's kind of got bee stripes on it. Uh, it's got a feather tail. I don't know what else you would call it. It says summertime cat wand. I can see it, sure. It's got the, the warm colors and the, the bumblebee in there. Oh, we got a couple of those, actually. So there we go. Oop, oop, easy for me. Wow, they're already all about it. Uh, it looks like custard. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Do these have names on them? I don't think so. Okay, well, custard has his own catnip kicker. That's so cute. He loves the kickers, too. Um, we have one for Maggie. You're possum. One for Loganberry. I think he'll like this, the bird with the tail. And... One for Eddie. Oh, Eddie gets the, the little uh, pufferfish guy that I like so much. That's sweet. All right. And there's two more things in here. Oh, and a dime. Whoa. Wow. I don't know. That's going to go right here in my pocket. All right. Now, this says Mr. A on it, and there's a feather sticking out, so I think I'm finally getting my cat toys here. Oh, maybe that was just stuck on. That's fine. I'm not disappointed. Here we have, I think it's coffee. Mm, we have bourbon vanilla Jim Beam coffee and Harry and David vanilla cream brulee coffee. Those look like those are going to be really yummy. I'm excited to try both of them. Uh, I do love vanilla as a flavor. Bourbon vanilla sounds great. Okay. And oh, one more in here. I see now that the bag was labeled Mr. A and uh, the... Uh, Mr. A, oh, it says Mr. A and his cats. Oh, Mr. A and his cats. Sounds like a traveling show, doesn't it? I'll take that on the road. Oh, here we go. This one was for, uh, also for me, Mr. A, Queen Anne Cordial Cherries. Oh, my goodness. That was another thing that my dad loved, uh, one of his regulars that he would go to. So it always makes me think of him whenever I have a chocolate-covered cherry. I still love him. Thank you so much for all of that. There's one more thing in your box besides this right here. I got B. I got let Okay. Uh, one more thing in here, which is a bag. It says Dr. DJ on it, and it's got a bunny rabbit. How cute is that? And a zipper. Oh, I see. It's like a, like a well, actually, I don't see. I think it's a pillow cover, maybe. Um, but... Okay, Dr. DJ, what do we got in here? I'm going to have to open it up for her. Let's see here. Oh, oh, uh, it is a cat-shaped soap dispenser. That's so cute. Oh, yep, yep. easy for me to get it open. Okay, it's not actually easy for me to get it. It's so cute, though. Look at that. It is very cat-shaped. That's perfect for one of our bathrooms. And, oh, but wait, there's more. Oh, you know, I think it's cat shaped, but I think it's a fish. I think it's a diving fish, and this is the tail. We don't have to tell anybody. That looks, still looks like a cat, doesn't it? That's what I'm going to go with. Okay. And. Oh, oh, cool. Uh, we've got little cat kisses, and they're in picture frames. They're matching. 
So it'll look really cool together, but then inside they're sequenced, so they get, get all shaken up uh, and colorful. And we've got two different kinds here as well. How fun is that? Those are cute. They'll go, those will go really well together somewhere. Uh, I don't know exactly where she's going to want to put those, but I love the theme. I love the cat kiss. And I love that it's got all the little sparkly sequins in it. It's so girly. Uh, she doesn't get much girly stuff for herself, but I know she doesn't mind uh, and actually kind of secretly probably likes it because um, someone had sent in that uh, pink sequined license plate cover for her. And I secretly put it on her car. And when she noticed, she loved it. It's still on her car. She didn't make me take it off or anything. So uh, I know that she does like that kind of stuff. Um, now, let's see. I don't want any of this to go to the wrong place, um, but I do want to get through the last couple boxes here. So what I'm going to do is put all this stuff that's in front of me over here, because I think we've separated out all the other stuff already, and then I can resort this stuff as sort of uh, use as you see fit uh, down the road. This one has to go over here, though. Oh, that coffee, too. Okay, good. Yes. Wait, no, not this box, that box. Uh, no, this box. Okay, I got it, this box. That's the one. Figured it out. Okay, perfect. All right, that's what we're going to do. And thank you so much. That's just, that's an amazing uh, box of things. And I just, I love so much that you took the time to wrap each one. It's really, whoops, really sweet of you. <laughs> it's falling down. Okay, all right, let's... Uh, Let's keep going, though. We've got just a few more boxes to do here. Uh, let's see. These are going over here. Oh, oh, ah, oh ah, tripping me up. Okay. Oh, that's uh, this is Loganberry's current favorite toy. I need to make sure it gets out there where he can find it. Okay. All right. Um, Okay, we have this pile, and there's one more that's a drop shipment. Uh, so we'll just save that one for the, the final final there. Okay, this says Kitten Academy. And it is blankets, I think. Uh, cute little paw print blankets. Okay, a little fuzzy. It says guinea pig uh, blankets, but I know that guinea pigs and kittens are about the same size. We buy a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, one of our, the, the little bed, uh, boy, this is going way back, that, um, oh gosh, I can't think of his name. The little gray boy would sit in this tiny little bed all the time. It was so cute, and it was a guinea pig uh, bed, like a sofa. Um Okay. Oh, this is Breezy Melody 1 again, and it says Part 3, so I guess this was supposed to come together, but that's not what it is. Um, but I think maybe it helps finish up your note a little bit. Best low-cost fancy feast. Uh, make your own comparison and decide. And other cat lists, where do products rank? Uh, I see. So I think you were asking, um, someone should put together a list and compare things. And then you say, you may need more mats. Happy trills to everyone from Breezy Melody 1. All right. Well, we, I didn't know that we were uh, hanging on there for a conclusion, but now we've got it. And some really cute, uh, you say mats, I think they're blankets. Um, either way, they will go to good purpose here. This is a set. Do not separate. Okay. That's very big uh, letters there. Like they're very serious about it. Hi. Hi. I was just wondering where you were at and where's your sister at and how much poop did you bring in here? Okay, I guess just whatever is still inside you. Yeah, and, a, and a, you know, like a coating on the outside, because that's how you are. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Breezy Melody. One. What is this? This is... Oh, hey, look at that. These are the, the little balls that are um, uh, Nibble's favorite, the one that she carries around all day long. And this is also from Vicky. And I I'm, I'm, I'm just imagine that's what you sent it for. I'm just going to label it as being one of her endowments directly because uh, the entire bag uh, nibbles. I've said it a few times. She has two of these that are in the house. 
that are uh, this exact ball, and she finds them and she carries them around. She's so proud of herself when she has it, and she just calls to her kids and calls and calls and calls like, please, kids, come take of this bounty that I've captured for you. Or I don't know, maybe she's saying, come look at what I caught. I'm so great. Whatever it is, she carries them around and just meows and meows and meows uh, like that, that I want attention meow, and she loves it. So obviously, if we can find those when she graduates, those are going to go with her. Um, but you sent some brand new ones for her to enjoy at her new home. And that's, that's a great one. Vicki, thank you so much for those. Okay, this is another package that looks like it got a little bit mixed up in the shipping, but it still made it through. And it says on the outside, it is from Kitten Fangirl. So we know that. And let's see what's inside. Kitten Fangirl. That's a great name. Okay. There we go. I have to I have to get a bigger box for this. We're gonna need a bigger box. All right, more tissue paper for me to put in something for these kittens to play with today. And put it over there with the other tissue paper. The card and the note. Okay, to read on stream. Perfect. And we got these cute little flowers on it. I licked all the corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, have a happy, awesome day. Every kitten is a rock star at Kitten Academy. Kitten fangirl. That's cute. I, you've used stickers to cover up the... I, I'm assuming it's a happy birthday, uh, but now to have a happy, awesome day. <laughs> That's really cute. Uh, I love it. And the note... What are you doing over there? Squall is playing with the power cord for the, uh, for the lamp. It's great fun. What are you going to do? She's probably going to unplug it. Um, okay. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, included in this package are some toys for the cute tinsels endowment and some treats for you. Well, I see the first treat for me right on top. We've got a local paper from... Uh, I'm excited about this. Community Impact, news everyone gets, Northeast San Antonio, San Antonio Metrocom Edition. I guess that tells us where we're from. Uh, also, the Island Moon. Oh, that's a cool name, Island Moon. Okay, around the island. <laughs> I love the way that, that, that local uh, articles are written. Some of them are... Uh, just, you know, the kind of stuff that you don't, you don't hear uh, in, you know, uh, the New York Times. They just don't write like that. Uh, around the island, and it starts out with, in what sounds like a bad Cheech and Chong routine, NASA this week issued a health and air quality warning, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Like, that just, uh, oh, there, oh, and Dale, this is by Dale Rankin, and he's written uh, every article, oh, almost every article on the front page. Uh, so Staff writers there for sure at the Island Moon. I love it. Okay. Um, I have had the kittens items since they were tiny and intended to send them in due time. Well, that time is up since all but Teaspoon are going to their post-grad placement soon. They are some ridiculously good-looking kittens with sweet personalities to match. The card was a St. Patrick's Day card. Of course it was. I get it. Yes, I knew. I should have... I should have gotten that, but I think it's still cute. I hope you like it with the slight edit I have included. The local papers are Community Impact from my current city near San Antonio and Island Moon from the area where I grew up near Cor Corpus Christi. I'm including a pronunciation guide of local areas because we have a lot of unusually pronounced names. Uh, in Community Impact, we have Sabulo, uh, Shirts, <laughs> I see, Comal, and Bear. Wow, spelled B-E-X-A-R, Bear. Huh. On page 16, there's a punny ad, but the pun's lost if you're not a local, so I'll explain it here. There are farm-to-market roads in Texas that are kind of like highways in most areas. Anyway, around here, we have FM 3009, commonly said FM 3009. This ad is for a pho, uh, pronounced pho, restaurant on FM 3009, and his name is 3 pho bowl 9 I get it. 3009. Wow, that is a stretch. Um, okay, but thank you so I can enjoy it. Uh, in Island Moon, we have New Aces, spelled N-U-E-C-E-S. That is another one I would not have gotten. And S-P-I-D, South Padre Island Drive. On B-16, there's advertising for live music. My brother plays keyboards for a band called The Groove. 
As always, your love and care for kittens is so appreciated. Most of the time, there are only small hiccups as the kittens learn and grow at the academy, but sometimes you encounter truly hard times. You handle all these situations with such grace. Thank you for all you do. Or Linda, who is kitten fangirl on Discord. Well, obviously, I am. I just I love this, and I love the little guide that you've sent, and that's going to be so much fun for me. Thank you very, very much. Uh, and the rest of it you've sent for the kittens, and I love that you've labeled them all. We have fuzzy owls from Vibrant Life, and they're they're heavy. Uh, I guess um, heavier than I would expect, anyway. And this one is for Spatula. You can tell from the photo. This one is for Ramekin. You picked great photos for them. This one is for Spork. So cute. Uh, and then we have one for Mr. Teaspoon and one for Goblet. Those are just adorable, and I especially love the way that you've labeled them. And the adopters are going to appreciate having these photos of them since they won't look quite like that when they get adopted. Now, for me, you sent Stroop Waffles. Oh, I love it. My thing lately, like I said, is to freeze those and eat them frozen. They're so good that way. Uh, you've sent Biscoff. That's another great one. Oh, thank you so much for the snacks. I'm still, I'm getting hungry now. I mean, this has been going for a while. So uh, I'm going to make it through, though. And then we have Cafe Ole, Taste of San Antonio, Taste of Texas. Oh, interesting. That uh, That's going to be fun. Also, in a Texas Tough plastic bag, it's not a Ziploc bag, it's uh, Texas Tough. H-E-B, uh, I see. All right, well, cool. That's, uh, I like, I like, again, I like stuff that we don't find here, or uh, I guess more appropriately, stuff we don't find in Illinois. Uh, actually, now I guess I can like stuff we do find in Illinois since I'm not there anymore. Anyway, my point being, I love to see the things that people have uh, in other places that we just don't experience, you know, unless we're there. That's that's the most fun that I've had, I think, from people sending stuff for us in mailbag. So thank you so much for that. I'm excited about all of it. Uh, let's see, this is not the endowments box. This overflowing thing, is that's the way it should be, is the endowments box. But we'll find a way to, to get all that to fit before we leave the room. Uh, we have, okay, one more thing here, and then, like I said, the the last box. Um, I know my green knife, I didn't put it away. It's got to be right here somewhere. It's probably right in front of me, and I just can't. Okay, well, we'll go to a backup. Oh, wait, here it is. It's underneath this brawly. Yep, yep, I got it. Okay, right there. Okay, this, and then there's one more box over there. I know, this one's been a long one, especially for a Sunday. Oh, we know exactly what this is, though. All right, look at these. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay. So we have a note, two notes, in fact. Whoa. Uh, one note for Mr. A and DJ, okay to read on stream, and one note for Teaspoon, okay, also okay to read on stream, it says. That's super cute. Uh, we have them sealed with real sealing wax. Oh, my goodness. Super fancy. This one has a really cute, fluffy cat wearing uh, what looks like a like a winter coat and some blue, round sunglasses. Very cool cat. Wow. It says, Mr. A and DJ, wishing you both the happiest of summers. Love, true blue, of course. And the note... Mr. A and Dr. DJ, well, what a splash. The April Meowers first edition and special edition, <laughs> I like that April Meowers special edition, have made during their studies at Kitten Academy, quickly making friends with each other, Serenity and the Q-tensils. I have no doubt they will continue to make new friends and delight their families when they finally reach their forever homes. I thought it fitting to send all the kickers for all the April Meowers and the beautiful Serenity together. As usual, at least lately, DJ has challenged me with picking just the right fabrics for this class's kickers, but I think I figured it out. As I was going through the fabrics, I kept stopping at the batiks. They remind me of water and movement. Then I had to figure out each kitten and cat's patterns. Boy, it was so much easier with Paisley, Chevron, and the rest of the patterns. Yes, the water cat and kittens were pretty easy. Puddles fabric looks like puddles. Raindrops reminds me of big drops of water. Drizzles makes me think of the rain rolling down a window pane. Bud and Sprout were pretty easy, too. Buds with little vines and buds and sprouts with leaves sprouting out all over. I had to think about brawlies. You don't really find umbrella prints in batik. So I went with a pattern 
that I feel befits a torty, a melange of colors and patterns that you wouldn't think go together until you see it together and can't imagine it being any more beautiful. Wellingtons and Squall were a bit of a challenge too, but I got there. Wellies fabric looks like a splash of color after a child is stomped in a puddle on the sidewalk in his wellies, and Squall's is dark like a stormy sky with flashes of color. I love a good storm. And now for Serenity. When she first arrived at the academy, she was so quiet and timid, so I chose a beautiful, serene batik pattern for her. Then she started feeling better and began playing with all the kittens, so I felt she needed a kicker to show her playful side as well. Keep up the good and wondrous work you do. I know it's not always easy, but you both do it with grace. So many challenges this spring, and humor, so much poop. Love, True Blue. Thank you. Well... I hope everybody can remember those wonderful descriptions. We'll take a look at each one here. Uh, there's catnip that's going to go everywhere, but that's fine. It's fun that way. So here we have a gray one for Serenity with this beautiful pattern on it. And this bright, bold one for New Serenity. <laughs> that's cute. I like the way you've done that. So those are for Serenity. We have, uh, let's see, this is for Drizzle. And it does look like when rain on a window pane. I can see that. We have um, Squall. It's got sort of a rainbow floral pattern there. We have Brawly, um, which has, uh, I don't know, it uh, uh, looks um, like uh, old velvet to me for some reason. I don't know, those colors. Really rich colors that these all have. Uh, Bud has little vines on it, like you say. We have Sprout, I'm sure. Yes, I could even guess that was Sprout before I saw the, the name on there. We have Wellingtons. That's, uh, I guess, kind of abstract, but I guess it works. Raindrop, of course. Well done. And finally, Puddles. Well, those are fantastic, and the adopters are going to love those, and I know they're going to get a big kick out of them. Uh, oh, no pun intended. So let's put all these back here so that they can be correctly distributed. Thank you so much for doing this for all the kittens. I think it's really sweet of you, and you do the best fabrics and color choices. I love how much thought you put into everything, uh, how much thought everybody puts into everything. It's just wonderful. Uh, I, it's, it's really touching. It is. So thank you for those. Uh, we will get those put in the endowment distribution zone. All right, there's another note here. It says teaspoon. We have to read this. Saved it for... Oh, it's so cute. It is teaspoon. It says, hi there. Good luck with your continuing studies at Kitten Academy, teaspoon. Love, true blue. And it's a pop-up teaspoon, I think, in a box. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe not in a box. Maybe playing with some toys. There we go. It is a pop-up teaspoon. He's so cute. And he's playing with a big ball of yarn. It looks just like him. That's That's adorable. Uh, I guess this was supposed to fold in and we... Oh, maybe this piece just tears off. All right, we'll get to that later. That's so cute. Aw, oh, he's adorable. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that Teaspoon appreciates the, the well wishes as well. He seems like he's doing pretty good. <clears throat> I'm hoping that when we finally get him through his surgery, he's going to turn into a whole new cat. We'll find out. All right, one last box. We're really running out of space here. I got to squeeze in among all the kittens and toys. All right. But let's do it. Oh, a teaspoon. Hey, you finally turned up, buddy. Did you hear us say your name? Here, here's your card, pal. Come back. Teaspoon, come back. Come back and get your card. Okay. So this just says Kitten Academy on the outside. I don't know what is on the inside here. Um, whatever it is, it's this. Uh, wow, I feel like I'm making a Star Trek deep cut here because I don't know what it is, but it's green. It is green. Um, so if whether you're a fan of the old series or the next generation, that should be a quote that makes some sense to you. Although I really didn't do the delivery any justice, did I? Enjoy your gift. The S and W need their own climbing apparatus. Squall looked so envious at a manyower climbing the palm tree. Next day, she tried to climb and failed. All tiny should have equipment needed to get a head start. Burp from Breezy Melody One once again. Okay, well, it says cat tree and it says it is green. 
Um, I, we need to see what it actually looks like a little bit, though, don't we? I agree that they need more climbing apparatus. If, uh, if I could just get caught up on, uh, you know, their their poop situation. Oh, this is cool. It is green. It's a cactus theme. But here, I'll just show you. Well, first off, you can see how beautiful it is. The, the material is really nice. And it looks like it's perfectly kitten-sized. But I especially like this big curved piece, which you can see here. Here we go. You can see in the picture there's a cactus. And there's this long piece that goes along the ground for them. And then there's this big curved piece that goes up to, a, like, next to the cactus. Um, that's fun. It's a fun shape. And it is a perfect size for these kids right now. Um, and probably for some future classes as well. I'm actually going to move this straight to the bedroom and hopefully we can get it deployed sooner rather than later uh, before uh, Wellington and Squall get a chance to outgrow it. Uh, Breezy Melody, thank you for that and for everything else. All right, uh, this has gone on uh, definitely long enough though and so I'm going to start getting this stuff put into its uh, correct locations right away. And also, uh, I think I need to bring Squall and Wellington for a chicken check-in. Uh, and also to have a quick look around and make sure that there's no other poop messes for me to clean up yet. Although, they can usually go two hours in between making poop messes, so hopefully that's the case and they just haven't hidden some in the bedroom while we were talking. We'll find out. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to turn off the mic and uh, switch us to the regular sound. Oh, the mic fell in a while ago. I hope you guys could hear me. Uh. Um, so, ah, whatever. Hopefully you guys can hear everything. And uh, I'll put that away when I go downstairs. I, uh, spatula is sleeping on top of the shouting post here. And it seems like completely asleep. Wow, what a pre precarious way to sleep. That's, uh, that's super impressive. Wow. All right. Well, uh, like I was saying, let me get this stuff put away and then... Uh, um, well, then I'll say thanks one more time, and, uh, and then I'll go back to cleaning up all the messes and start the laundry. I haven't been around. The laundry is right across the hall from your side. I didn't start the next load because I didn't want it to be going during nail dining, but I do need to start it because uh, otherwise I'm going to fall down. I actually got to the bottom of the laundry basket like a couple days ago. They, they went just long enough without making a mess, and then it was all poop floating in there. I don't know what happened. This is a good size for these endowments to go into, isn't it? Let's just transfer some of these right in here. And that's what they're doing.
I have to go get everybody some chicken. Uh, Wellington's just ran into the closet to eat his chicken and was followed by Brawley, who also loved to eat the chicken. And then Teaspoon was around the corner, like, hey, where's mine? And Wellington's, I mean, Squall has to have some, so. Serenity's also looking for much. Isn't Squall in here somewhere still? No, they all went down to the bedroom looking for chicken and lunch. I don't see Squall anywhere. Is she going to finally be the kitten that found the way out of mailbag in a box?
these. You have to go with me. Hey, I think I found your tissue pit, kids. Maybe his first tissue pit, anyway. I think your mom wants it to be lunchtime. The kids ready to settle down for some lunchtime? Glad Wellington eats so much, but whew, he is really building up to a poop explosion. He's so brown, he feels like uh, feels like if you had a water balloon, but you filled it with Coke, and then you shook it up. That's what that's what that's what Wellington feels like. All right, kids, you got a lot of toys crammed into this room. You know, basically all on this side of the room because of the way the cameras are. That's cool though, it's fun, isn't it? A little jungle gym and maze. All right, well, hey, that's it for mailbag. I gotta go take care of poops and I gotta give all these kids lunch. So I'm gonna wrap up the archive right here. But if you're watching live, uh, 